70 years ago, SMU's Doak Walker won the Heisman Trophy. In glorious black and white, the Doker was a legend. Now he's in color. It's a beautiful thing that they're able to go back and, um, and, and redo these pictures and, and really bring them to life. The Doak 48 collection, colorized by Doug Murray, bringing the Highland Park kid into the age of high definition. 70 years later, they're doing something like this right here. You know, that's special. That's special. That tells you the type of person he was. The collection honors Doak, but it also honors photographer Brad Bradley, who took nearly all these photos. We opened up a studio on Hillcrest in 1947, and that was the year Doak came. And for the next couple of years, Bradley and his studio captured some tremendous moments on and off the field. Doak was a good looking brother, I can tell you that, man. <laughs> a lot of girls were, and a lot of mothers wanted their daughters <laughs> to date him. <laughs> That's Norma Walker, Doak's first wife. And that too is Norma Walker, when she was Norma Peterson. The uh, train station was so close to SMU, we just sat there and waited for the train. It's amazing what, what they've done. It uh, brings back a lot of memories. Of all the incredible pictures on display here tonight, this one might be the coolest. One, because it's a great shot of Doak Walker making a catch over the middle, but two, because of who it's over. Number 24 for Texas right there? That's Cowboys legendary head coach Tom Landry, 13 years before the Cowboys even existed. Your legacy goes on, you know, and, um, and for his family tonight, they'll be able to look at this and look at what he's done in a, in a totally different way. He, he thought he was not different from the rest of us. But he really was. In Dallas, Mike Leslie, Channel 8 Sports.